This is Chris the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a subject that is frustrating to some people purchasing dripless guns and your caulking still dripping. So why does my dripless gun still drip caulking when I've paid so much money for an expensive gun? If you wanna know, I'm gonna tell you in this video, so stay tuned. All right, so here we go. We've got a um, dripless gun. This is a um, not super expensive, but it's probably one of the more expensive caulking guns out there. Um, it's even named Dripless, and I keep getting a lot of people, you know, contacting us on our social media, contacting us at our store, Paint Life Supply Co., saying, you know, I bought this expensive gun, and my caulking or my gun is still dripping caulking. And yes, that is absolutely annoying. Caulking will still spill out, even though the gun is dripless. So um, I'm gonna explain to you why. Now, you know, what happens in a, a dripless gun right here, you're gonna squeeze the trigger, um, it's gonna put pressure on the tube, and then it's going to, um, you know, expel or expend caulking out of the tube. And then the pressure is released off this rod in the back, and then you're not supposed to have caulking continue to come out. Now, one of the, um, or the cause that's causing um, caulking to still spill out is air bubbles in your caulking. And if there's an air bubble in your caulking, no matter what kind of caulking you have, whether it's dripless or not, it's going to continue to um, spill caulking or expel caulking out of the tube. A, dr a non-dripless gun, you're gonna pull the trigger and it's gonna still continue having pressure on the tube. It's gonna still um, expel caulking out of there, whether there's an air bubble in it or not. But the great thing about dripless guns is they're not supposed to drip. Are you enjoying the video so far? Are you finding it helpful? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we come out with more of this free content. And now let's get back to the video. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You might be wondering, you know, what the heck are you talking about air bubbles in my caulking? And I'd have to say like probably 10 years ago, this was never an issue. It was really rare that you would get an air bubble in um, a tube of caulking. And as a professional painter, you know, we're accustomed to um, using the terminology, a pop. And an air bubble in a tube of caulking is what we call a pop. I'm gonna show you a um, tube of caulking and this is DAP and you know uh, this is probably one of the cheapest tubes of caulking you'll ever buy. Um, it's cheap, inexpensive, not very good. It doesn't bond, stick, it cracks really um, easy but it's affordable and a lot of people want it because it's affordable. Here's what we call an air bubble. Now these are tubes of caulking. We cut them open um, brand new, wet, and they're dried now. But here's an air bubble inside this tube of caulking. That's a very large air bubble. When you take in, um, when you're uh, pulling the trigger on your caulking gun, it's pushing on this air bubble and it's causing it to compress. It's pushing caulking out and expelling caulking out of the tube, but this air bubble inside the caulking is gonna is gonna continue to expel caulking out of the tube and it's gonna make the dripless caulking gun not function. So air bubbles are very annoying. Now this tube of caulking, the air bubble is all the way in the back. It will continue to drip caulking until that air bubble comes out. Here's another tube of caulking. Here's a, a tube of NR4000. It's got not quite as big of um, a air bubble, but there's an air bubble right there. It also has an air bubble at the top. That, that air bubble is gonna get expelled right away. And if that was the only air bubble in there, it would discontinue dripping or expelling caulking you know, out of the tube when that air bubble comes out. One of the very annoying things about these air bubbles is when they do come out, that's where the term pop comes. You'll be squeezing the trigger and it goes pop and it splatters caulking out of the tube, sometimes in your face, sometimes on the floor. It, it, invariably, it goes where you don't want it to go. So you got tubes in the top or um, uh, bubbles in the top and bottom, which is kind of the double whammy you know with that tube of caulking i've got another tube of caulking that i cut open right here so this one's got there's no air bubble in the bottom but we got an air bubble in the top so as soon as it expels that air bubble it's going to function properly in a dripless gun you'll see another thing what we call a micro bubbles and um it, it was, and I'll see if I can find, one of these tubes has some micro bubbles. Let's see, this one right here, it's gonna be really hard to see, but there's a lot of little you know, micro bubbles on the sides and those little tiny bubbles 
are going to cause the same type of issue, not to the extent a large bubble is going to you know, cause a problem. But a, any type of air bubble, especially something like this, is going to render your dripless caulking gun not dripless. So what do you do about it? I mean, you know, here's two manufacturers of caulking. I have to say, um, this is two that we cut open. We cut open, I think, like five uh, manufacturers of, of uh, manufacturers of caulking, and every single one of them, you know, had an air bubble in it. I um, probably like five years ago, between ten, um, five to ten years ago, you started seeing these air bubbles more and more, and it's um, the manufacturing process that's getting. They're trying to um, do the process too fast. Fast. Um, the process isn't um, regulated very well, quality control issues. But I did find a company, Tower Tech Sealants, you know, makes caulking. And it's one of the reasons why, one of the major reasons why I switched to their caulking. And here's a tube of Tower Tech. As soon as I switched to them, uh, I don't, I can't even recall ever getting an air bubble once so far since I switched over to this caulking. So Tower Sealants manufactures Tower Tech 2. They manufacture accelerator. They do manufacture caulking in um, what we call sausage packs right here. And these sausage packs, no air bubbles in these things either. I've been using these now for a while. They go in um, reusable caulking tubes, no air bubbles. They really got their process, um, manufacturing process super dialed in and their quality control is absolutely amazing. So if you want your caulking gun, your dripless caulking gun to function properly, you've got to buy high-end caulking or um, sealants that are manufactured you know, really, really well. Now, the only one I know that I've used over the years, I've used a lot of them, White not Lightning, um, 950A, um, um, so many of them I've, uh, that I've used. The White Lightning was one of the ones that you know, never had any air bubbles in it, and now you're seeing air bubbles all the time in almost every single tube. I'd say um, 950A from Sherry Williams is uh, one that I used probably for 10 years and now every single tube has got an air bubble in it. So every single tube you put in your caulking gun is actually gonna drip and drip caulking out of it until that air bubble pops out, unfortunately. And I'm not a scientist. I know it's something to do with how um, the expansion and contraction of the air inside that tube. If, if you know the exact um, process, you know, of what, what that air bubble is doing inside there, just leave it down in the comments section below. But we do know, and I've um, got to fly you know, up to Tower Sealants, got, uh, um, got to walk through their facility, got to see the manufacturing process. I got to discuss with them why they don't have air bubbles in their caulking, um, in, in any of their tubes of caulking, which is you know absolutely incredible. But that's why your caulking gun drips caulking when it is a dripless caulking gun. So don't blame it on the caulking gun, blame it on the caulking. If you got any tips or tricks, or if you got any information about this topic, just leave it down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, I'm sure you know there's some differing opinions out there. Just leave it down in the comment section below. If this has helped you out, if you've learned something new, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do. It's never cost you a dime, never will. See you next time right here on Paint Life TV. Out.